Next, I want to show you guys how easy it is to draw a castle wall um, in perspective or giving it depth. So obviously every castle wall is a very simple shape. Um, you have these cutouts and the cutouts look like the letter U just drawn um, with straight lines. Now I'm not gonna take a ruler to do this, you could, but I actually like, especially if you draw a castle that has been, it's old, if things look a little bit um, not so perfect. Um, so I'm gonna show you how you get from this to this, how you actually add the depth um, to your castle. So one thing I'm gonna show you quickly is, this is a little bit uh, larger drawing. So you have the shape of your castle wall. Um, it's very, it's flat. And this is a very short wall. You can draw a taller wall. And then you have to draw the thickness of your wall. And the way you do that is, with these diagonal lines that are located on the corners. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, on these three corners. I'm not gonna draw a line on this corner right here because if I would draw a line here, I'd actually draw within the shape of my um, wall and this line you wouldn't see. So the only diagonal lines you see uh, the top of the first three. This one here, that one on this corner, and this one. Now one thing that you also notice is that all three of these lines go in the same direction. See this? They're in the same diagonal direction, every one of these lines, and they're about the same length. Um, remember, I'm eyeballing, I'm not uh, doing it with the ruler, so my, one might be a little longer, shorter, but generally they're the same length. So we're gonna practice. Um, if you wanna follow along, you can take a piece of paper and um, do it with me. Let me quickly do it like this. Okay, so the very first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna just draw the shape of my wall. And I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna make this wall a little bit taller. Now one thing I want you guys to do is this cutout right here, I want you to actually draw it big and wide for the purpose of learning how it's done. It's much easier than if you draw, for example, your cutout. Um, I'll show you quickly. If you have cutout lines that are this tiny, it's very difficult to actually uh, learn how it's done. So wide, leave a big gap. So I'm gonna draw my straight line towards the side. Straight line that goes down towards the side, goes up. See, it looks like the letter U. And then I'm gonna just repeat that. And I'm gonna go down. Now, you can just draw a straight line. I sometimes like to draw a couple if there's grass growing. Okay, so I have one, two, three cutouts. So the next step is the actual thickness of my wall. And I'm gonna start right here on the left side and I'm going to draw a diagonal line. I'm gonna make it this long. Now, I have a corner right here and I have a corner right here. And I will have to draw exactly the same diagonal line on this corner and on the corner right here on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna kind of eyeball. I think that's about the same um, length and width. And then this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on all the other uh, corners that I have. Remember, we're gonna leave this one out because this one, I'm, you're not gonna draw a line that um, covers the front part of your wall. So I'm gonna draw another diagonal line, another one, another one. And here, when you're at the side, I'm going to actually draw another one right here at the bottom. Um, so you have 
one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then the one at the bottom. So now comes the part where I sometimes see students um, mess up. It's really, truly super simple. If I take give you this as an example, see my blue line, my outlining of my wall. So my lines are already given to me. So I'm basically just drawing parallel lines that are already here. So I'm gonna connect a line from here to there. I'm going parallel this one, see that? So I'm gonna connect from this point to this point. So I paralleled my wall line right here. Now, this is my wall, so I'm gonna par parallel that line and I'm going down. See that? Now, this often is the where I see the um, biggest difficulties. Sometimes students drawing a line from here to there or here in the corner. You are paralleling this line right here at the bottom. So I'm going to draw a horizontal flat line and it basically buds into this wall uh, space right here. See that? So now let's just connect here, there. And then this one is my longest line that I'm gonna do right down here. All right, you got your wall. Now, in my, the view that we drew is I'm looking towards the right side of my wall. You can draw a shape and do it towards the left. How about we do that? Let's draw a wall that looks like the thickness we're looking towards the left. So if you wanna do it again, you can follow me. I'm gonna start out um, with my straight line. That's, I'm gonna make a taller wall. My cutouts. And connect the bottom. Okay, this time, in this example, I drew my diagonal line towards the right. Now I'm gonna draw my diagonal line towards the left. So right here, I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna draw the line towards the left. It's a little more unnatural for me because I'm a right-hander. It's easier to go towards the right, but I'm gonna do to the left. So same thing, I have corners here. I have this corner, so I'm gonna draw exactly the same line towards the left. Then I have the corner right here at the bottom exactly the same line towards the left. Remember this one right here, we're not gonna draw anything because I do not want to draw on my shape of my wall. Then I'm gonna draw a diagonal line here, 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 here. And obviously the bottom. So I drew all my diagonal lines and now I'm going to basically just copy the lines that are already on my wall, my parallel lines. See this one right here? I'm going to draw a straight line that parallels this one that's on my wall. See the, dia the vertical line here? I'm gonna copy that. See this horizontal line right here? I'm gonna copy that. That's my cutout. And I'm gonna do the same on this. Voila, you got your wall. Um, if your wall looks like, I'm gonna quickly turn it over. Let's say this is your wall. You drew your wall, you have your cutout. I'll do a very short one right here. And it looks like this. Ah, so, lots of things wrong here. First off, these two, they kind of go in the same direction. However, this one is way longer than that one. So I have to make a decision, um, you know, which one I, am I taking. This one, I could leave it. It's not really paralleling this. It just look a little more crooked. But 
I would have to erase this top line right here. Connect this and then go over. See that? These two, I think you guys know now, they are not parallel. So I have to figure out which one right here. There, this way. You got your wall. All right. Um, one last thing before um, I stop the video is I, I mean, if you're done, if you don't want to know about windows, you can obviously stop right here. Windows or cutouts. So you, there are different shapes of windows that you can give your castle. You could have a rectangle, a square. You could have the curved part at the top. Um, but if you want to give your castle tower a little bit of depth, you can also achieve that with your windows and the cutout of your window, the illusion of a cutout. Um, there's a couple different examples. I'm gonna show, um, do one quickly with you guys. So let's draw a rectangle or a square. So let's say this is your window, you placed it in your tower. Um, if you wanna show the thickness of the castle wall, you can find a corner, either this one or that one, it doesn't really matter. You draw a diagonal line that goes back and then you parallel this line here on the side and you go all the way up to the top. And now I'm gonna parallel the bottom line and I go all the way down to the side right here. See that? That's my cutout. So this would be um, the darkness of your castle inside. Now let's change the shape of the window. Let's say it's curved. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't make a difference on how you draw this. So I find my corner right here. Oh, watch. If I draw this line longer, um, it basically means the castle wall is thicker. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm paralleling this line and I'm going to go straight up like this. I'm gonna do that. And so your castle window is that. Now, you could also, let's draw another rectangle right here. Sometimes your castle window, this is me uh, looking from the left towards the inside of my, I'm looking basically in this direction. I could also look um, straight into my castle wall. If I do that, I can draw a diagonal line on this side, a diagonal line on this side, connect and draw all the way up, draw all the way up, see that? So this is me kind of um, um, looking into my castle window straight ahead, but I cannot see the top, or you could draw it like this, or you could draw it um, let's say same thing, diagonal, 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 connect this right here, see that? It's optical illusion. It could be like, you. it might look to you like as if the center part is close to you, but let's imagine this is the inside of the castle right there. We'll make this, smudge this a little bit darker. And here could be your bricks. I don't know. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So a couple things um, that you could use if you want your uh, castle to look a little bit more 3D. I'm going to do one more video on just stairs, but that'll be a separate video because it takes a little bit. There's so many different ways of how you could draw stairs. I hope um, this was helpful. Have fun.